everyone welcome back to my channel today we have a brand new video and this is my pros and cons living in scotland so i've been living in scotland for eight years now so i can really tell what are my pros and cons in living in scotland so let's get started so i've got five pros in living in scotland so number one we talk about people well scottish people are very friendly they are polite and they are welcoming people so i've got no problem with that and uh, last time when i you know talk to them and then they would say yeah they would say hello to you hi and even in in when i applied for a job here so it's not really difficult to to communicate with them and you know to be part of the part of the society so there's no i've got no problem with the people here it's all they are all lovely and very welcoming and i think that's all what the tourist says about the scottish people here so yes so that's the number one pros that i have so number two castle yes guys uh, scotland has real castle okay so um like in in my place just now when you travel around about one mile one mile or two miles we've got two castles here either ruins or not ruins but pretty much they are very close to our house so if we want to to visit a castle it's just very nearby and uh, and also if we go to the beach it's just six miles from here and if we go to the forest or the the woods they called it it's only about a walking distance as well if i come out from my house and that's already if i if i just walk about five meters or ten meters so that would be the forest okay so because we live in a country not really a countryside but we live in a town so it's just very nearby to us okay so number three pros is nhs so actually nhs is not really free they will they will take it from our salary here every month so in because uk has four nations like england scotland wales and northern ireland but what i do love the nhs here in scotland because we don't pay for uh, whenever you use the, the the national health service is it's free to use at the point of delivery guys so if for example you you have a broken bones today and you will go to an a and e after that you will not pay anything okay so it's already been incorporated to your tax which they will deduct it from your salary it's not really free but if you are on you know if you are on benefits and you're not working and you are hospitalized guys you don't fee uh, you don't pay anything okay so and one thing is we don't pay for our prescription and like in england they pay around nine pounds or nine pounds fifty and also the service is really world class i can just uh, tell you about i've i think three years ago no covid yet and I had a flu it's just a normal flu it it was a seasonal flu it was I think November so I just called my we have a we just dialed 111 and you have to tell what are your symptoms like because last time I just told them I've got fever then cough colds and then the fever will always come and go come and go then I I already took my paracetamols or I, I do profin but still the the fever is still coming coming up and then down and then you know what the the GP said okay we'll just I never went to the you know the hospital or our healthcare healthcare center I just phoned them and then suddenly the the GP said we will phone you back around maybe in the afternoon I called in the morning and then afternoon because I told him if I can book an appointment to talk to the doctor but then uh, I just I just told them 
all my symptoms and then what they do was they just give me a antibiotics and paracetamols and they told me that you just go to the chemist and collect your prescription so what i did is i just i just went to the chemist and get my prescriptions nothing to pay guys i have nothing to pay uh like the in like in england that they pay nine pounds or nine nine fifty nine fifty so it's completely free the prescription here in scotland although uh, if you are on you know working class it you pay for your national health service insurance coming from your coming out from your you know pay but at the time of use guys you don't pay anything okay just like what happened when i uh give birth i thought i will pay something but when they give me the the bill it's just say nil so i have nothing to pay for that so that's what i like here in scotland and the rest of the uk we have nhs free to use at the at the point of delivery okay so number four so in scotland if you regardless of your nationality guys if you uh, live here you are if you are still you know uh, under schooling you don't pay any university fees okay so it's a free tuition here in scotland Not unlike in england they will pay around nine thousand pounds for a year so here as long as you can you can mm, tell them that you are a resident in in scotland for about three years regardless of your nationality of course if you stay in scotland you have your settlement uh, status like a visa or leave to remain and you can tell them or you, ha you have the documents to say that you are a resident in scotland so when you go to university and you want to you know uh, get some a degree it's completely free okay so whenever my child will go to university guys i don't i don't pay anything it's free i maybe i will just pay for the accommodation and the food but the tuition fee is completely free to all uh scotland residents so then number five we've got culture why i i include culture here because scotland has so many history that that i never know before but when I live here for about eight years, so you know, I start, I started uh, uh, watching film like Outlander, The Crown, or any film that will uh, represent Scotland, guys. So so much history. Whenever you go to a place, there's a history. The castle has a history, and the name of the place has history. So so many so many history in Scotland, which I do like, and I do like reading history, okay, or history books, and also, um, they have also you know the men they wear kilts, so there that's part of their culture also, and then they have also like they believe in. And I believe their their unicorn is their national animal, guys. Unicorn. Okay, so they have also Highland cows in in the Highlands, and that's it. I think the culture is really rich, and it's really fascinating when you read their history, guys, or culture as well. So that's it. I that's one of my five pros in living in scotland okay so we go to my cons now in living in scotland okay number one is the weather why i say the weather guys because sometimes scottish weather is just rubbish i came from a country which we have tropical what tropical weather so it's only uh rainy seasons and dry seasons but here in the uk in one day in just one day you can have four seasons in a day okay so that's my cons because of the weather but they say uh, scottish saying that there's no bad bad weather here it's just bad choices of clothes so every time i go out guys i i see to it that i that i wear the proper clothes or maybe this morning it's really sunny so yeah i can wear my 
a sunny dress or sunny clothes but later in the afternoon it might rain or it might be cold colder so i need to bring my jackets or maybe some trousers to put in because because if you wear a dress later it will be cold cold and might be snowing i i experienced that one in the morning sun there's a sun afternoon it will be autumn spring and the evening or maybe around 5 p.m it would be there's a no, snow or a, what's the hailstone something like that guys so just just bear uh just see to it I, I mean that you wear the proper clothes for the weather okay so number two less opportunity to work yeah sometimes it's really stiff the the or fears the the competition of work here so i'm just lucky that i work in my field in accounting or in accounts but really guys when when you live in a small town or countryside expect that the job opportunities are really low unlike major cities like edinburgh glasgow aberdeen inverness they are always hiring there but if you live farther you know out of the city so it might be no job at all or the i mean the job opening or the job hiring is really i mean so many competitions so just bear with that if you want to live in a countryside or town or if you want to live in the city which lots of job opportunities to to explore okay so that's my cons uh, number uh, it's less work opportunity in the town or in countryside so number three property you know in the uk the property here is small and it is expensive in a two-bedroom house when you rent a property here not just in scotland but other parts of the uk don't we'll not talk about the london property because they are really high but if in scotland in my uh, place well, they are small guys the properties are small but it is so expensive so so if you move here in scotland uh, you have to to accept that their property here are small unlike other countries like the u.s that they have bigger properties and of course the price is uh, affordable maybe affordable or it will coincide with with the property space so that's it but here expect that the property is small and it is expensive okay so number four i always drive here and i i just i'm not often riding a bus so the petrol here is very costly guys petrol or unlit we call it petrol or some other countries we call it gas petrol here is around one point one pounds and two five nine pence okay and if it's a diesel if you have a diesel di uh, sorry it's if you have a diesel car it's more expensive that would be one liter is one pound 2.99 guys so that's it one pound 2.99 so they are expensive we are not in uh, gallon okay so when you go to the petrol station or gas station they will serve you or they will give you uh, by liters okay so one liter of the diesel is 1.299 and one liter of petrol or unleaded is one pound and two four nine two five nine or two six nine now okay so number five one of my cons here is the language although scotland speaks english but you know guys from a country that my english is not my my you know my primary language it's just second language for me and when i came over here in scotland although i speak english but and it's just different i mean if you speak to a really a, a very strong scottish uh, accent you can't uh, what you call understand anything and that's the first thing i i exper experienced when i arrived here i think i was in aberdeen it's just i can't understand 
anything or everything i just i will tell my husband can you repeat what they say especially with my in-law some last time because sometimes he has a strong scottish accent so it's just what did he say <laughs> what did he say so because my husband is not really that a uh, really strong scottish accent it's just maybe a mild one so i can understand him but other people i don't understand before it took me about weeks or months just to to understand them one thing that you you would uh, notice here that the accent so if you want to be more you know you have to you have to be more familiar with the accent you have to talk to them to scottish people because scottish accent guys i, I find it nice and sexy you know it's it's a nice accent because great britain has lots of accent lot, they would say british accent but there's no such british accent because in every place they have an accent guys it's just nice to hear that in 20 miles down the road you can hear another accent and another 20 miles down the road again another accent that's what i like here the accent and i to i tell you i'm telling you that scottish people are friendly and they talk about they are they are very you know fast and then when they speak a uh, scottish accent really it's really fast especially when you go to glasgow they are very i mean i went there but sometimes i don't i didn't understand that so i let my husband uh repeat that for me and then that's the time that i understand what the guy is saying or what the girl is saying so if you go also to highlands like here we live nearby the highlands actually we live in the middle uh inverness here and then up north is aberdeen so we are in the middle of two cities so if we go to aberdeen it's about an hour and a half and if we go to inverness city it's about 45 minutes or 30 minutes if there's no really traffic something like that so the accent vary in one place to another go to Aberdeen they have also an accent we are in Mauritius so we have also an accent so it's pretty much I, I already understand them that their accent and especially when you know when you talk to of course with your colleagues so yeah I I, 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 I am last time I'm just speaking up what they're talking about but eventually because i live already for eight years here so i pick up all their accent and even they will talk talk to me about scott uh, you know really if i can't really understand if it's really broad or very deep scottish accent like gaelic or they call it gaelic i can't understand that but if just english and then the way they said in a in scottish accent it's it's okay i can't understand but other than that if it's Gaelic, I can't understand. Sorry, Scottish friends, but I can't understand. But mostly my Scottish friends here and my Scottish colleagues, are they are very nice. They are lovely. They are fun to be with. And especially when you go to the pub, it's very fun. And I do like going to the pub, guys. Pub is a bar. We call it bar here. So when you go to Scotland, you go to the pub and you will... Such a nice place and... You will enjoy there guys you will enjoy you you enjoy the culture of this country the people as well so that's what uh one of my cons here language but eventually i learned their language no not language i learned their accent and it's nice to hear really it's really nice to hear a scottish accent guys so just just try then i am also telling you that yeah come here to scotland and explore the the country and you will love the place guys so i think that's all i cover for now and hope i can see you next time and don't forget to to like comment and subscribe and also ring that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i have a new uh, vlog or video so i'll see you next time on my next vlog okay bye for now bye